Over the past few weeks, I've had the pleasure of using the LG 49WQ95C. Our first impression from unboxing, I was really happy and somewhat surprised that the monitor was lighter than expected. As much as I love having the extra screen real estate, the display and image quality has been my favorite thing about this monitor. Essentially, you have two 27 inch 2560 by 1440 monitors packed in one display without an extra bezel in the middle, which has made my experience incredible when it comes to productivity. The IPS display has a 51 by 1440 resolution at 144 hertz with a 178 degree wide viewing angle which allows for the colors brightness and contrast to remain consistent throughout the entirety of the screen before using this monitor my biggest concern was my viewing experience whether i'd be turning my head back and forth and distortion but i can say that I haven't really experienced that at all while using this monitor. This monitor has a modest 3800R screen curvature, so you don't have to worry about the distortion of important details that you're viewing. Peak brightness also is 400 nits, so even when the sun is blasting through my home office, the image remains colorful, sharp, and bright. First thing that comes to mind when it comes to this type of monitor is being very productive, specifically for coding and video editing. However, my gaming experience has been exceptional even when playing some of my favorite fast paced games like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and the new God of War thanks to the 144 hertz refresh rate and the about four milliseconds of input lag. As a developer, I typically have multiple windows open simultaneously, and this is the first monitor where I don't feel like my screen layout is cramped, and that's thanks to the 32 by nine super ultra wide display and using Magnet, a layout manager for Mac OS. If you're looking for a versatile 49 inch display where you can do professional work such as coding or professional video editing, along with having a great gaming experience, this monitor is a no brainer. The screen is huge, just be prepared for the desk space needed for this super ultra wide monitor. Once again, thank you to LG for sponsoring today's video. I've been a fan of ultra wide monitors for years now. And by years, I mean like three years. Back when I first started exploring the whole desk setup world, trying to figure out what my desk setup and work from home style was going to be, along with trying to figure out which monitors are the best based on the job that you're doing. And for me, I was a front end software engineer working in a digital marketing department. So I spent a ton of time in Photoshop, Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. So I needed a ton of screen real estate. And at the time I thought the dual monitor desk setup was the best looking desk setup. And I quickly realized that dual monitor desk setup just wasn't for me. My opinion, I love the look of an ultra wide monitor. For one, there's a lot less cable management and it just makes your desk setup look so clean. All right, these pillows look crazy in the back. I gotta fix these really quick. And do a little karate chop. You probably noticed in the beginning of the video when I did my unboxing and added the LG 5K, my desk was facing the window and that just wasn't really practical for me. It was just way too bright. Um, and it was just my eyes were straining. On top of that, the setup looks way better with a wall behind it where I install. There's like a lot less white space and things just come together better. Plus it's such a vibe to just look out and just see the city with an unobstructed view. My desk setup hasn't changed a ton. I'm still using the same desk mat, but there's one thing I don't change that often and it's my desk mat. So I'm still using this leather desk mat from Ergon Office. It has a gazillion scratches. It has the character of a vintage BMW. That might not be a good example, but this thing looks pretty vintage and worn down. I did upgrade my speakers. The funny thing is I decided to upgrade my speakers when I had the least amount of desk real estate since I have this ultra, ultra wide monitor. But I went with the Canto U4s. I tried the Canto U6s and those are way too big, but the U4s are perfect. I have one speaker kind of behind the monitor and then I have another that's like along the side of the monitor. But these speakers sound so amazing and they look so good, especially since I added the Canto speaker stands 
it just elevates the experience of the setup. And then there are just some subtle changes like in my last desk setup, when we lived in New Jersey, I was using an Ikea floating shelf and I switched to the Grove made floating shelf because it just is more aesthetically pleasing. Plus Grove made sent these over to me and I couldn't just let them sit. The books I'm reading right now are, or really the only book I'm reading right now is a defining decade. That book is so good. If you are in your twenties, up to your early 30s, you got to read this book. And I don't read a lot of books, so that's saying a lot. Still using the Grove Made Wood MagSafe stand. It's actually in this walnut color, but everything else is maple. It's kind of cohesive in terms of the contrast because the leather desk mat is also a walnut color. I don't know, whatever. You could break rules, it's 2023. Everything doesn't have to be the same wood finish. I definitely need to upgrade or change my picture frame, which is almost feels counterproductive because this is supposed to be an ultimate ultra ride desk setup. This isn't like the ultimate studio. That's like a whole nother video. Give this video a thumbs up or comment studio vid if you want me to do a, an ultimate New York City studio tour. Filming these videos during sunset really hits. It makes me feel like I'm Waiting to the last minute, the the lighting, the the vibe, the color looks so good. I barely even need to do any adjustments in post. I'm still using the maple finish wood headphone stand by Grove Mate. It looks so good. It doesn't matter what your overhead headphone is. It just looks so clean. I interchange it with the AirPods Max and Sony WH100 1000MX5. I don't know, such a silly name. And of course, the ultimate combo is what I like to call it, the MX Master 3S and MX Mechanical for Mac, the best mouse and keyboard combination in the market. I do plan on going with a white colorway for the MX Keys Mechanical since we're getting into spring, summer. You definitely have to have a headphone stand. I'd say there are like, two, three, four. There's like five core essentials for a desk setup. And that's obviously excluding the monitor. I know some people like to have a laptop as their monitor, but I think that's kind of silly. Gotta have some computer speakers, have to have a desk mat, obviously have to have a keyboard and mouse. And then the other thing that I definitely recommend is having a headphone stand. So wifey got me the Seasons Diffuser from Essence for Valentine's Day. That was so thoughtful. But this diffuser is one of the most modern, interesting looking diffusers I've seen. And it can fit into your desk setup aesthetic like perfectly, no matter what your setup is, in my opinion, because it's really low key. I love the ribbing around the diffuser. It smells really good. It also has a light underneath, so it can add to your aesthetic at night and just brighten up your space. But I definitely recommend cop in one of these i'm pretty sure it's on sale right now so that concludes this ultimate ultra wide desk setup video i'm going to enjoy this sunset and i might even film a time lapse to close out this video thank you again to everyone who's been on this journey with me it's amazing to be able to work with some of my favorite brands that I always dreamed of working with like lg so thank you to lg for sponsoring today's video and sending over the lg 49 inch 5k ultra wide monitor this thing is a beast as always have a blessed rest of your week and i'll see y'all soon i'm about to start posting more consistently not at it's springtime and it doesn't get dark till after seven with that said peace